podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. If you've ever been to the North Carolina Zoo in Asheboro, you probably enjoyed the polar bear exhibit. Although we're fortunate to have them in our state zoo, the survival of polar bears in the, in the wild is uncertain. As reporter Maria Lundberg explains, that's one reason the zoo is taking steps to ensure a sustainable population of polar bears in captivity through a new expansion program. In 1994, the North Carolina Zoo opened its new Rocky Coast exhibit, and visitors took in the unusual sight of polar bears in North Carolina, playing in the water and climbing over rocks as they might do in the wild. The polar bears quickly became the most popular exhibit at the zoo, and nearly two decades later, they're still the favorite of many visitors. Hey, Look, big, Jade. Wow. Big, big, wow. 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 Big. While this exhibit is very good, zoo officials have decided to make it even better. A massive expansion project starting in September 2011 will take one and a half to two years to complete at a cost of $7 million. Along with repairing and updating the existing exhibit, the expansion adds a huge new area that will connect to it tripling the size of the polar bear habitat. It's, it's very exciting. It gives us uh, a lot more for what the bears need. It gives us a lot more for the staff, that what they need to take care of the bears. It gives the public a whole lot more, and it really opens up our options uh, to what we can do in the future. The design team will create a new exhibit space that provides a variety of features and activities for the bears. It will also enhance the viewing and learning experience for visitors. Steve Runfeld is one of the zoo's exhibit designers. Right here is uh, where visitors will enter into a, uh, a rock cave, kind of ice cave uh, interpretive area. And as they come through this, uh, they'll be able to view the exhibit through uh, glass partitions right here. Right. Sioux designers are building several elements that will be installed in the new exhibit, including a bear den. The expansion provides the bears with 15,000 square feet of land space for climbing, exploring, playing, and digging, as well as a small stream and shallow wading pool. If you're going to keep polar bears successfully, you really got to give them this, this much bigger environment in terms of them expressing their normal, normal behavior. Another reason for the expansion is to help preserve the polar bear species. Polar bears are the iconic species to explain what is happening in terms of the world's climate change phenomena. In the wild, polar bears depend on sea ice for hunting in dens. But rising temperatures due to climate change cause sea ice to melt taking away the bear's ability to find food. And so what is happening is that that southern population of polar bears are simply not obtaining the food at the right time of year that they need to, they need to thrive. So we're going to see, sadly, we're going to see probably uh, a lot of deaths, starvation in that polar bear population. <laughs> To ensure that the species doesn't become extinct, the North Carolina Zoo plans to start a polar bear breeding program using young bears that have been orphaned in the wild. When completed, the new exhibit will include maternity dens for mothers and cubs. If the program is successful, it could increase the number of polar bears in zoos nationwide and also provide research to help bears in the wild. Zoos are very instrumental in uh, research and, and knowledge of bears in captivity that can be applied to the wild and the population of bears in captivity is going down so we need to be able to contribute to that and keep the population of zoos in captivity uh, going on the plus side so that we can do our part with all the research programs that, uh, that benefit the bears in the wild and it also allows us the ability to educate people. And education is one of the zoo's primary goals. The new polar bear exhibit will contain an interpretive area for visitors to learn about what's happening to bears as a result of climate change. And the zoo is also grooming young ambassadors to help tell this story. Ashboro student Julie Hodgen was selected by the zoo to do research in Canada this fall with a polar bear conservation group. 
Going to Canada, I'm most looking forward to obviously interacting with the polar bears and um, getting to see them in their natural habitat. You know, I see them at the zoo all the time in a closed exhibit, but um, seeing them where they naturally live will be a huge eye-opener for me. And I'm so excited about learning more about how to protect our environment and take the right steps to protect it. When the polar bear exhibit reopens in a few years, it will be a world-class habitat for the bears, as well as a relevant way to explain the global issue of climate change. The Better at Bear program, the more opportunity we have to educate people on the uh, topics of global climate change and how that affects bears and how it affects the planet. So it really allows the bears to be an educational tool in a bigger way. It's really, really critical that uh, we remember just how much the state puts into this and the reason is we have 100,000 school children coming in school parties every year and, and the zoo's foundation was very much based on the view that you know when people said we want a zoo in North Carolina what they largely wanted it for sure recreational purposes but most of all to, to really give people a clearer understanding of the natural world and, it, and the huge variety of that natural world. The polar bear exhibit will be closed and the bears relocated once the expansion project begins. But other animals in the rocky coast, such as the harbor seals and puffins, will still be on display for visitors to enjoy. For more information about the North Carolina Zoo, log on to their website at nczoo.org. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.